Now for our third topic, we're going to be talking about placement percentages. And this is a very complicated topic because a lot of people are messing this one up and hurting themselves, aren't they? They are. They are. And a lot of people are driving themselves batty when they don't. So tell, tell me what your, your controversial position is or what the problem is. The problem is the amount of variables that placement percentages introduce. And so we're talking about campaign bidding strategies, which you can see at the campaign level, and specifically top of search, rest of search, and product pages. And my biggest frustration with this is there's no down voting. There is no <laughs> can't, down. Go, can't go negative. You can only go positive. It's like, come on, come on, Amazon. Yeah. You just want more of my money. That's one of the things when I said everybody's driving themselves mad, um, that, that's one of the reasons. So if I wanted to only show at top of search, how would I go about doing that? Uh, put a really high bid. When you say high bid, though, like, do you mean percentage? Like 100%? Nope. Should I ever do that? Have you ever done that? <laughs> that might be the better question. Back in the day, yes. Okay, so back in the day, this is everybody's take, right? Put a really low bid, 10 cents, 12 cents, right? Put a 900 top of search placement. And the theory was that you're only ever going to get a high top of search, right? That theory is wrong. All you're going to do is limit your traffic. Okay. So if we went down here and we had a suggested keyword, we're just going to throw a random one in here. So we've got essential oil. We'll just roll with it. And we're doing keyword targeting, manual targeting, and then the campaign bid modifier. So, so what you're saying is if the regular suggested bid was 70 cents, I would lower that down hardcore say 20 cents or something like that. Yes. I'm not I mean, saying to do this. I'm saying this is This is how they used to, right? This, this is how they used to. how so, they used to and that's how they tried to do it. And I will say that in theory, it's genius, right? Like, duh, why would you not put a low bid, just circumvent that with the top of search placement and great, I'm golden, right? And you'll probably find, one, you're probably going to get limited impressions on this campaign. And the second thing is that sometimes you get no impressions or you do have most of my placements are coming from top of search. So when this came out and people started to do this, it worked. And then everybody started to doing it. And then nobody got as, as good a success anymore. Is that what happened? It worked sometimes. And sometimes it didn't. And going back to my evaluating a bunch of accounts noticing correlations, noticing the consistency in a specific strategy and seeing a consistent negative result from it. Every account that I have audited where they're trying to leverage a high top of search pl placement percentage to get around having to pay a high CPC, all of them are can't rank the product, not even single keyword exact match high conversion rate campaigns. None of them so, can rank the products. So are you saying placement percentage can hurt more than it can help? I'm saying a low bid can hurt more than it can help. Okay. So if we wanted to do this, what would be the right way to do it? Or the date? There's no perfect, like, must There's do no it in a certain way. way. No. But on a random account, random category, day one, how would you set this up under normal circumstances? With so no if expectation? we're saying this is a ranking keyword, I want to rank on this. I want high visibility. I want high top of search. I know we just talked about how suggested bids are a little bit finicky, but I also told you that's all we got to work with. I would go bid. I would go at the high end or even potentially higher than the top of search suggested. Okay. So 0.88. But but this is for an aggressive strategy. Okay. This is an aggressive strategy. But if your goal is high top of search visibility, do that. Either don't even mess with placement percentages right out of the gate or put something small like a 10 or 20 percent if you want. OK, so we'll start at a 15 market in the middle there. So a lot of people in 2024 are still saying, oh, you should use 30, 35 percent placement bids. But you on an aggressive campaign, were saying 15. Tell me why. I'm saying 15 to start because okay. I don't know. I don't know how this is going to interact. But if I see this and it works. And I'm like, all right, 15 is great. I'm happy with I'm happy with the ACOS. I'm getting high visibility. My ranking is improving. All things are good. I'll probably go in. I would go in here and adjust it. I'm going to reevaluate and readjust no matter what settings I have initially. But I'm saying if your goal is aggressive visibility, high top of search, leverage high bids versus trying to get around that and leverage high top of search placement. So this particular strategy on your list of strategies, how would you rank this technique? High, low, what would you say? 
I would say it's a core strategy. If you're talking ranking, we leverage bids versus placements. So core strategy, but tell me why a lot of people get this one wrong. Like what, what goes wrong typically? Um, I'll tell you two things, and this isn't pertaining specifically to this campaign. It's on placement percentages in general. The things that you have to be aware of with placement percentages is that it applies to everything within the campaign. So if you have a ton of ad groups, you have a ton of targets, um, and then not does it just apply to the keywords, it also applies to whatever search terms the keywords are triggering. So if I have a campaign, let's go extreme, let's say broad match campaign with 100 different targets, and I got three ad groups of them, right? If I go into that campaign, if I only look at my placement percentage, you go, oh my gosh, top of search is working fantabulous. I'm going to crank that up. I'm going to put a high top of search placement on it, right? You've just Let's let's go crazy. Let's say we did a 200%. We multiplied it by three. I think it's a 3x if it's 200% because it's an extra 200% on top of right. it. Right. So we 3x our bits for everything. Every single one of those keywords that I have in all three of those ad groups. And not only that, we 3x our bids on every single potential search term that all of those broad matches are triggering. Can you imagine... So exponential ad spend and the exponential potential for ad waste so if we're looking at lowering down a cost this strategy probably one we don't want to do no but if it's a starting starting a product launch or a ranking strategy or you want to get aggressive it's part of the core so did, did i capture that right yeah so our our core strategy is placements and maybe this is controversial because i know there's a lot of good people in the space who are they have this whole analysis process and say, oh, this campaign is doing this. And I apply this really complex thing. And I think they're getting results. My thing is just think through the final end result of the potential of what you're doing, right? So in the case of like a bajillion broad matches, potential is like exponential. If I had a bunch of like exact match keywords, that's probably fine, right? So I'm thinking about like the more potential for it to spin out of control, the more conservative I am. So I wouldn't so do 200 making, making it really segmented would be an appropriate way to test this. Yes. And as we know, uh, the more segmentation you do, the more time and effort it takes to manage it. So depending on how sophisticated you want to go, there you go. There you have it. All right. Placement percentage can sometimes hurt you if you do it wrong. Today, we are joined by Elizabeth Green. She's the owner of Jungler, which you guys can check out. And she's a PPC agency. So if people want to... And by the way, she's got a really great YouTube channel. So you guys should check that out and follow, hit subscribe there. A lot of great PPC contents and she's putting out a ton of good stuff. So Elizabeth, if people want to get in touch with you, what should they do? Uh, how can they hire you? Yeah, no, the website is definitely going to be the best place for that. So if you want to get in touch in touch with us for a hire, I would definitely check that out. Um, yeah, if you want to follow content, we're doubling down on YouTube. So go check us out there. Cool. All right. Well, thanks for coming on. We might do some more of these kind of in-depth PPC tutorial guides. We're bringing in some PPC experts like, like Elizabeth. So if you like this, slam a comment in the section, say more of this, more PPC, and we'll, we'll see what we could do. Thanks for watching today. My name is Stephen Pope. I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy, and that is our PPC tutorial for today.